Hey everybody, it's Piranha Z06 again, and it's the middle of winter and in Ohio, and so where else am I going to be in my man cave again? So, uh, I've done quite a few updates to the rig in the last year, so just wanted to show those to you uh, to give you guys ideas and uh, spark conversation and questions. If you have any, please let me know. So, let's get right to it. Okay, so the first things that I've upgraded are things you can't see, and that's basically I have a new PC at this point. I upgraded the motherboard, RAM, CPU, GPU, sound card, two SSDs, uh, still water-cooled, still have the same uh, spinning hard drives as backup drives, um, the CD player, the case, internal fans, things like that are still original, but um, those major components are all new. Uh, I've got a 1080 Ti uh, ROG Strix GPU. so. Um, at the time, that was the best one out. The 20 series was not out yet, uh, so I've got a decent deal for what it is, so uh, very happy with it. Overclocked the CPU, which is a um, 8700K, overclocked it to 5 gigahertz. So I'm overclocking the GPU as well through fan software, uh, fan, ma fan management software, and uh, voltage increases as well, and memory uh, OCing as well. So. Got stats on that down below in the spreadsheet, all the parts, prices, things like that, if you're interested in all of the details. Um, as far as physical stuff that you can see, the first thing you're probably noticing is the um, panels, the acrylic arm panels. So if you hadn't heard, uh, Main Performance PC is no longer the uh, distributor for Obudo parts, rigs, and accessories. And so they had a sale on all of their existing inventory. And so I took advantage of that and bought pretty much every accessory I did not have, which included the acrylic panels, the HOTAS arms accessory pack, the flight stick accessory pack, and I even bought some um, kits of extra nuts and bolts and things like that that they had that they were getting rid of too just in case I ever need spare parts. So um, what you don't see anymore is the articulating keyboard tray because simply there's just not room with the HOTAS arm accessories and stuff. Uh, so that's no longer there. So what I've done is I've put my keyboard, um, track map, and MFD panels uh, just with two-sided tape, stuck those to the acrylic panels, and so that I can flip those around. And they're all they're modular arms, just like the triple monitor stand arms, basically. So you can flatten them out, swing them around, push them out of the way. They're very useful and uh, yeah, lots of different uses for those. Uh, the other thing, I've got a new headset, I'm no longer using the Trouble Beach. This is a set of Corsair um, something Pro uh, Void Pro, so wireless. Uh, I've still got my Track IR, which is, has a wire, so they're not totally wireless, but uh, at least cut down on one wire. Um, you can see this foam on one of the arms here, so I had to do a little DIY. Of course, I do a little DIY with everything. I think we all do a little bit. Um, there wasn't really room for my from my elbow hitting that bolster when I have my seat pulled all the way forward, which I have to do when I'm doing flight sim, there, I couldn't reach the mouse because it was that panel. The, what you can't see is that panel is very, very small. See those four light spots? That's where the bolts are that I have mounted an extra, extra um, piece of steel to to extend it. So that thing was very short. So my mouse was always further, all, like right back here. So as you can see, that's not much different distance between that bolster and the mouse. And so I couldn't really use the mouse very well. So I will show you, try to show you here if you can see it. See underneath, it was that little bitty round arm. That's all there was to it, which is fine for my rollerball mouse. But like I said, I just can use it. So I mounted an extended piece of metal and then covered it with foam uh, neoprene so that it looks more like a mouse pad. And it goes way all the way out here. So I've got a lot of room to adjust to play with my mouse now. Um, another thing I got is the uh, Rickmo Tech short throw shifter extended plates up here. And I've got the, and I got the both of them for the H pattern and the sequential. And I've got the sequential on, on right now. I think I'm going to stick with that. I, I always wanted to try the sequential shifting, even doing the NASCAR races. I, I like it. Um, but just this week, um, the spring on that thing is very strong. And so it's a very mechanical feel, which is great. And I know a lot of sequential guys like that. But it was vibrating so hard that my mouse was bouncing off <laughs> and falling on the floor. And it was a little harsh 
uh, for me. And just, I don't know, I always felt like it was more force than it needed. And it always felt like something was being just a little more force applied than needed to. So I found a different spring uh, that I had just laying around and cut it well, kind of short so that it doesn't take quite the tension that it used to. And it, you can tell, I mean, it still takes some force to do and it still vibrates a little bit. You can hear the mouse vibrating, but it's, uh, it's a lot better. Um, so you see the Hotas arms there. And of course I swing the throttle forward when I'm flight simming. But when I'm not flight simming, I take the, uh, the stick out of the holder bracket that's there and I put it in this empty one here for holding, just for storage, basically. And that's why I don't have room for the uh, articulating keyboard tray anymore, because there's not room to put more than three things. And you have to have your cup holder to drink your coffee or whatever you're drinking while you're racing. And so, I don't know, I like this better. I, I've got my keyboard up where I can use it if I need to, and I can, like I said, I can tilt it flatter so it's more like a keyboard if I need to type something, and then just tilt it right back up so I can see my track map. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, as far as things I don't have anymore, um, the load cell on my pedals broke. So I no longer have a load cell. I'm back to a potentiometer in the Thrustmaster uh, T3 PA pedals. Um, so I'm not happy about that. So probably the next upgrade in my near future is a set of Fanatec uh, inverted pedals uh, with the load cell and the... Uh, the hydraulic piston, which I'm looking forward to. A um, couple of little minor software things. Um, I'm you know, overclocking software on the uh, for the graphics card that has to run in the background. There's nothing running. For, I'm not doing any software overclocking on the CPU. That's all done through the BIOS, so nothing extra is running there. Oh, I have gone away from NVIDIA Surround. I'm now just using settings in the app INI file to stretch out my windows accordingly. Uh, I think I like this a lot better because you can alt tab out because I stream occasionally and so I can alt tab out to my OBS software or anything else. The Joel real timing I have to reboot sometimes uh, between as like you go from qualifying practice to qualifying to a race sometimes the Joel real timing locks up so I have to restart that so I can alt tab out a lot quicker and uh, so yeah so that's just a replay going in the background um, and that's a, a view of the whole rig. So, I just want to look over everything, see if I mentioned everything I meant to. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, oh, I, well, obviously, as you can see, the, the arm, undermount arms that I had mounted holding my track map panel and the uh, MFD panels, I've taken them off too since I didn't need those anymore. Um, yep, I think that's pretty much everything. So the next thing, one of the next things I'm going to try, probably today, right now, is I'm going to try to overclock my monitors. And I didn't realize you could even do that, but a friend told me that this week. And so I found out for these monitors that I'm using, somebody said they were able to bump them up to 85 hertz. And these are 60 hertz monitors. So I'm going to give that a whirl and see if I get lucky. Uh, some people said maybe 73, 74, but one guy was able to get 85. So we'll see. Um, just helping the smoothness a little bit. So, well, that's it, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you've got any ideas for me, things you're doing similar uh, to help me out, I will appreciate it. And uh, I'll probably do another video next year if I've done any upgrades since then. Thanks, guys. See ya.